going on people it's the xbox 448 and before i get today's video started i want to give a major shout out to everybody who checked out the second episode of the next podcast that was a really big episode uh not only was it our second episode but it was also it was also our e3 predictions episode so there was a lot of stuff to cover and then not only that you know that icing on the cake uh it was our our first ever special guest so shout out to V Shadows Gaming for coming on to the show. The guy is uh, such an intelligent gamer, a, a complete, like an encyclopedia of games. If you haven't checked out the podcast yet, I will put a link in the description below. Definitely check it out. I mean, we got into, when we were talking about the uh, Microsoft podcast and stuff like that, we got into some OG X1 games. Uh, there were some things brought up, you know, about past games that just really made you reflect on where we have come from and it was an awesome awesome show uh i w i wish the topic of this video was as awesome but i want to talk about what's been going on the last couple you know the last week or so um when it comes to fanboyism and and, and this what i call a militant pony group out there i say militant because man these guys go to extremes when they don't like something uh, for people who don't know, you know, I, it's been about a week or so since No Man's Sky, you know, there was there was rumors that it could be delayed again, and, and those rumors uh, started solidifying more. So this militant group over here, right, they started sending the developer of No Man's Sky, they started sending them death threats. Fucking death threats, all right? Now, this would be incredibly surprising if this didn't happen before. But if you guys remember with Insomniac and Sunset Overdrive, uh, Insomniac was getting harassed about Sunset Overdrive being only on the X1. And then, and then if you look at Rise of Tomb Raider, the actress who played Lara Croft was also getting harassed and threatened. And it's pretty much, I, I believe, by the same group of people. Now... Having a preference or, or having a loyalty to a, a certain thing, is, I mean, I kind of relate it to sports. Like, I'm a big Bulls fan, and, and that's what it is. Uh, but if they lose a game to a team, I'm not going to send the other, team, the other team's coach death threats. And see, I, I think that's what separates the... In terms of the fanboys, it's what separates the ponies from the quote-unquote Xbox. I mean... If you look at it, I don't see too many news articles talking about death threats and stuff coming from, you know, those pro X1 kind of like extremists. And, and it's gotten, it's getting way out of hand, yo. When, when you have to like threaten somebody's life because a game is getting delayed. And the funny thing is, now, let me know in the comment section if you agree with me on this. The funny thing is, it's not even because they want to play the fucking game, all right? It's just that they don't want to give any fuel or any positivity. Like, they don't want to give any Sony negativity with that game being delayed or whatever because people have been kind of promoting that as the, the next greatest thing on, on Sony's platform. So, they just don't... They don't want that negative... Uh... They don't want that info coming out, like, and, and and that's why they're sending this guy death threats. It's not because they actually want to play the game, because who in their right mind, if they wanted to play a game, would give, would send out death threats to the developer? That doesn't make any sense. So you already know right then and there, it's not because they want to play the game that they're doing this. It's because of the whole console war thing, and they don't want to give quote unquote the other side an upper hand. That's exactly where this is coming from, and this shit is getting way out of hand. Then not only that, but there was, there was somebody on uh, Twitter who started blocking people for having the Scorpio Zodiac tag in their name. <laughs> and, and saying that that was like the worst thing ever. While you have these Sony guys like threatening to kill developers, harassing actresses, uh, 
absolutely unbelievable. I can't e I, yo, this generation has been absolutely crazy. And the only, and the funny thing is, it's not going to stop. Yeah. Even when, you know, the Scorpio is announced, everything comes out, there's, there's just going to be something else that, you know, these guys kind of go after. But in terms of people who are on Twitter who have that Zodiac side, man, rock it. Rock, rock it. Yo, put two on. I'm saying, because it doesn't really matter. You're showing support for something. You're showing hype for something. And you're not threatening to kill anybody. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely insane. How can that even be comparable? I have no idea, guys. Um, I didn't put the Zodiac sign on my name. I went I went even a step further. Uh, shout out to Gamertag Reckless for letting me use this 2D, 2D image of a scorpion. And I kind of made a Scorpio logo out of it. So I'm rocking that as my picture. Uh, but all together, we're showing support for something and hype for something that we like without getting into crazy extremes about it. Uh, I don't know. This is absolutely insane, guys. But like I said, if, if you want to support the Scorpio, go ahead and do so. But in terms of this like militant pony group, you know, they have gone way too far for way too long. And this shit needs to stop. As usual, guys, if you like my content, you like my gameplay, definitely hit that thumbs up button for me. Hit the comment section below. I, I would love to know what you guys think about this. I've had a little bit of an issue with my phone because I'm in a preview program with, with uh, the opera operating system on my phone. So I haven't been able to, to hit up the comment section like I usually do. Unfortunately, my keyboard doesn't pop up right now. But uh, I will be in there. I'll get on, you know, my computer and stuff from time to time, see what people are saying, and, and definitely respond to you guys. And if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. But as for now, this is the Xbox 448, and I am definitely signing off.